Cornelius Vanderbilt, the Commodore, was a millionaire who was the first great railroad tycoon with a legacy still alive today. He was born in Port Richmond, Staten Island, New York, May 27, 1794. He grew up poor, and at the age of 11, he dropped out of school. He started working for his father and learning the aspects of shipping. At 16 years old, he bought a boat with his $100 he earned from landscaping and started a ferry business uh, transporting between Staten Island and Manhattan. With business growing, Vanderbilt was awarded a contract with military to a ship along the Hudson River to forts during the War of 1812. In his mid-30s, he went into the steamboat company and stole away cu customers. He was now known as the Robber Baron on Sea and given the nickname Commodore. In the mid-1840s, he operated over 100 steamboats and was worth several million dollars. In 1855, he started working for the Atlantic Steamboat Business. 1860s, Cornelius Vanderbilt bought uh, railroads in New York and became his new main focus. He once again stole customers away with low cost and improved services and made $25 million in just five years. He moved westward with his empire and owned many railroad lines between New York and Chicago. 1862, Abraham Lincoln asked Vanderbilt to destroy the Confederate warship Virginia. From Vanderbilt, Cornelius Vanderbilt's largest and fastest vessel destroyed Virginia. It was $1 million, but it was donated to Abe Lincoln. New York Times calls it a monster. 1864, Vanderbilt was given a gold medal. 1867, he reached out to South and bailed out Civil War Confederate leader Jefferson Davis. Before Cornelius Vanderbilt died, he donated $1 million to build Vanderbilt University in Nashville, Tennessee. He died at the age of 82 on January 4, 1877. Vanderbilt was worth $100 million when he died. The heir of his industrial empire was his son, William Henry Vanderbilt. The legacy lives today and has affected the railroads today through his improved inventions. Heirs who lived out Vanderbilt's royalty was William Henry Vanderbilt, which was his son, George Washington Vanderbilt, Gloria Vanderbilt, and Anderson Cooper. And that was the epic life of Cornelius Vanderbilt.